don't share your Google account. Use permissions instead. And of course, make note of who has access so that if you have multiple owners and managers, you know which account is which. So those are the basic account settings for creators. I'm gonna quickly look about how you can customize your channel. So you've made your channel and I'm gonna have you go into YouTube Studio again and click customization on the left menu. You can set a banner image. This is the image at the top of your channel. It may be different sizes on different devices. One thing to keep in mind though, is that more and more people are watching YouTube on TV. You want your cover banner image to look good on the great big TV screen, as well as on small screens. And of course, anything important needs to be in the middle of the image because it can get cropped. So text is not ideal. But if you do have it, it needs to be in the middle of the image. You can also add a profile picture and people will see that when you comment, they'll see it on your channel. It will be really small, so better not to have an image that's too complicated. You can also change the name of your channel. It does not have to be the same as your Google account name. You know, make it something people remember. And then you can also have a handle and you should set a custom handle that is easy to remember because people can type that in to access your account. And ideally it matches the handle you have on other social media accounts so that there's some consistent branding across different social sites on the web. Um, let's see. And then you can add a description that tells people what your channel is about. And I don't know, we seem to have lost Nina. And for the description and name, you can click add language and that lets you translate the name and description of your channel. It does not translate the channel handle, but it will translate the description. If you, if you have people who speak different languages, Visiting your channel, you may want to do that. And if your channel is not in English, for example, you may want to translate the channel title and description into English so that English viewers can see that information as well. And then you can add links and a contact email. Uh, you know, these have to follow Google's policies, but like links to your website and so forth. And this information appears if you go to someone's channel uh, and you click on the description or the sort of truncated links at the beginning. If people click that, then all those profile details pop up and they can see the links, they can see your contact information and all those details. So you wanna make sure all of that is up to date. Uh, one thing I've been kind of bad at is keeping links up to date and <laughs> I go in, I try and remember occasionally to go in and make sure the description is good. And it's something else to check periodically to make sure the information is correct. For a while, I still had my Google Plus profile linked on my channel, even after Google Plus didn't exist anymore. It's like, no, you need to go in and actually edit these things, make sure the social media <laughs> hand pages you link to are up to date and so forth. <laughs> The Google Plus page is still live itself. <laughs> you can also add a video watermark. That's a small image that appears on the video player. People can click that and subscribe. You can set when that appears. You may want to do that. It's not necessary necessarily, but it can be a useful thing to get more subscribers. So that was the profile tab. Then there's a channel customization uh, tab for the home tab. The default for new channels is to actually turn off the home tab. So there's no home page for your channel. It just has the tabs with your content. But if you turn on the home tab, you can then customize it. You can add a channel trailer. You can add various sections to the channel 
for you. That's recommendations for the person viewing your channel from your videos. Uh, you can have sections for your popular videos. You can have live streams, upcoming live streams. You can have playlists highlighted there. So there's a whole bunch of different options. And again, this is something that's worth reviewing every so often to make sure everything mm. is up to date. Wow. And this is actually a good use for playlists. You can even have unlisted playlists so they don't appear on your channel, but you can use that for organizing content on your channel's home tab. So when you're done doing that, there's a publish button at top right and make sure it gets published to your channel. So that's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of things to do it. And again, it's good to check this every so often just to make sure everything's up to date and the way you want to have it look. When I was preparing this, I thought, gosh, I really need to do that for my main channel because I haven't <laughs> checked it in a while. I think, you know, where the arrow's pointing, then a menu will appear. And the settings I'm talking about today are in two different places. The first is under settings and the other is in YouTube Studio. So if you're trying to figure out how to navigate to the settings, that is the menu you want to start from. And you can access that from any page on YouTube. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is managing your YouTube account. Your YouTube account is part of your Google. So you sign into Google and then you access YouTube. So if you have a personal channel, you should be using your personal Google account. Do not use your work or school account to create a YouTube channel for your personal projects because you can lose access to them. And the flip side of that is if you have a business and you are creating a YouTube channel for your business, you don't want someone on your staff to use their personal Google account to create a YouTube channel because then your business can lose access to that. So there's a whole universe of information there about how to manage your accounts properly, but you got to think about it. The Google account owns the YouTube account. And so, you want to make sure that Google account ownership is correct. 